Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about top 10 best countries after COVID in 2021. So before starting this video like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Here are the 10 countries that dealt with COVID the best. Number 10. UAE. The National Crisis and Emergency Management Authority NCEMA, manages the UAE's emergency response system, and the UAE government was proactive in releasing the first warning of the latest coronavirus epidemic, long before WHO declared it a public health emergency of international concern. The UAE has a robust, state-funded health system in addition to private health facilities, that provide a high level of treatment to the community. The entire healthcare system was trained and notified during this pandemic, with procedures in place to ensure an effective response. The UAE was one of the first countries to implement remote learning effectively in both private and public schools. To ensure the health and safety of its workers and clients, the UAE's federal and local governments implemented a remote working scheme. Additionally, the government issued orders suspending the distribution of all print newspapers, magazines, and marketing materials in order to prevent virus transmission through touch. The UAE government has suspended all near gatherings and sports events, as well as commercial centers and shopping malls, as well as fish, meat, and vegetable markets, except for essential commodities. To contain the virus and limit people's entry into the UAE, which is a necessary precautionary measure to halt its spread, the UAE suspended all international visas and cancelled all inbound and outbound passenger flights. The government declared the imposition of fines on those who violate laws that endanger public health. Number 9. Japan. Japan has one of the lowest coronavirus death rates per capita in the developing world, considering its aging population. The government response, a milder strain of the virus, cultural practices such as bowing etiquette and wearing face masks, hand washing with sanitizing equipment, a defensive genetic trait, and relative immunity conferred by the mandatory BCG tuberculosis vaccine have all been suggested as possible explanations. Number 8. Australia. Apart from a few brief snap lockdowns in some states, the majority of Australians have been living reasonably normal lives, with the Broadway production of Hamilton recently opening to packed theatres in Sydney. Australia had only five new cases of COVID-19 as of March 23, 2020. The majority of these new cases are not the result of population transmission, but rather originate in the hotel quarantine system that houses Australian people returning from overseas. Even after a second wave of cases last year, Australia quickly corrected its errors, with cases never exceeding 1,000 in a population of 25.36 million. None of this would have been possible without vaccines. Australia's vaccine program started on February 21, 2021. Number 7. South Korea. South Korea has responded admirably to COVID-19. Based on its experience with Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, MERS, South Korea was able to rapidly flatten the epidemic curve without shutting down companies, giving stay-at-home orders, or adopting many of the more stringent steps adopted by other high-income countries before late 2020. It achieved this success by providing consistent public recommendations, performing extensive testing and touch tracing, and assisting citizens in quarantine in order to facilitate enforcement. In March and August 2020, the country successfully controlled outbreaks, and eventually regained control of a wider, more dispersed outbreak in December 2020. South Korea has generally demonstrated effectiveness in all three phases of the disease preparedness and response framework, identification, containment, and treatment. Number 6. Israel. Israel's rapid and efficient vaccine rollout has effectively stifled the spread of COVID-19 with regular new infections continuing to decline amid the reopening of the economy. Israel's 9 million people seem to be nearing the end of the pandemic. The authorities continue to urge caution, however, due to the possibility of the emergence and spread of new COVID-19 strains that are more vaccine-resistant or lethal. According to an Israeli study published last week, the South African strain of the virus might be able to circumvent some of the security offered by the Pfizer-BioNTech shot. Number 5. Vietnam. When Vietnam announced its first coronavirus case on 23 January 2020, it immediately activated its emergency plan months, before other countries considered taking any precautions. The country implemented travel controls, closely monitored, and eventually closed its border with China, and increased border health inspections. At the end of January 2020, schools were closed for the Lunar New Year holiday, which lasted until mid-May. 
Additionally, a massive and labor-intensive contact tracing process began immediately. Number 4. Singapore. Appropriate planning, vigorous checking, carrier tracking, and a little bit of luck all contributed to limiting the effect of COVID-19 in Singapore. The city comparatively states small population of 5.7 million people, and previous exposure to SARS in 2003 gave it an advantage over the virus. The government quickly strengthened border controls, following the disease's initial outbreak in China, while also establishing a consistent public relations policy. Despite the high case count, many have challenged Singapore's low mortality rate. Leong Ho Nam, an infectious disease expert, said the average age of the population had diluted the country's mortality rate, since the majority of new cases in Singapore are younger people. Indeed, over 90% of recent cases in Singapore include low-wage foreign workers staying in dormitories. More recently, Singapore's government declared that beginning in December 2020, all pupils over the age of seven must use the city-state's contact tracking software or wearable system. This should help prevent the spread of COVID-19 to elderly family members. After registering 55 new cases at the end of January 2021 all of which were imported from another country Singapore's Ministry of Foreign Affairs, MFA, announced a three-month suspension of travel arrangements with Malaysia, Germany and South Korea. Number 3. Iceland. Iceland's success is due in part to its small population of about 364,000 people, but early diligence and intervention have played a role in keeping case numbers low. Health authorities raced in quicker than other countries to contain the outbreak, as the government rapidly assembled a team of touch traces. This team will interview those who received a favorable diagnosis, and track down individuals with whom they had been in touch. As a result, the nation has avoided one of the world's large-scale lockdowns. Another significant explanation for Iceland's popularity is that people remained indoors. If an individual was suspected of having the virus, they were instructed to remain indoors while the government paid their full salary. Iceland's chief epidemiologist, Orifer Gunnarsson, said during a briefing in Reykjavik on 1 February 2021, that he will apply his recommendations for easing restrictions to the health ministry, as the country has not registered a domestic case outside of quarantine since 20 January 2021. Number 2. New Zealand. New Zealand wasted no time in containing COVID-19 in the region. The Ministry of Health established the National Health Coordination Centre, NHCC, on 28 January 2020 to coordinate response to the outbreak. From 30 January 2020, an infectious and notifiable diseases order was issued, requiring health practitioners to report any reported cases under the Health Act 1956. This was New Zealand's first line of defence. Travel restrictions to and from other countries began in February 2020, and New Zealand committed to an elimination policy on 23 March 2020. When Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern declared that New Zealand will rapidly intensify levels of social isolation and travel restrictions, reaching the level of a full national lockdown on 26 March 2020, the country had recorded 102 cases and zero deaths. Rather than just flattening the curve, New Zealand pursued a more aggressive path to disease elimination. This is very remarkable for a country that has never faced a big pandemic and was only marginally affected by SARS. About a year after New Zealand's initial lockdown, the nation continues to be sensitive to new incidents. In November, health authorities ordered a partial shutdown of Auckland's central business district, requesting that city workers remain at home following the infection of just one student with COVID-19. Number 1. Taiwan. Taiwan was testing and quarantining travelers from Wuhan, China, long before the coronavirus registered on other governments' radars. The island's connections to China provided it with a clear vision of the pandemic's original epicenter, allowing it to respond quickly deploying a containment plan that has proved to be one of the most effective in the world. The island used and continues to use technology to track suspicious cases. If a resident tests positive, they are provided with a quarantine hotel and taxi. Prior to the coronavirus pandemic, Taiwan maintained an inventory of face masks, medical offices, and laboratory capability to deal with any outbreaks. Taiwan was heavily affected by the SARS epidemic in 2003, with the country now having the third highest infection rate in the world. Since then, the country has improved its preparedness for the next outbreak, including the establishment of an infectious disease prevention network and the conduct of annual hospital drills. In October 2020, this small country achieved a new record of 200 consecutive days with no domestically transmitted COVID-19 incidents. 
Regrettably, the situation deteriorated on November 30, when 24 cases were registered in a single day. What do you think about this video? Which of the following top 10 best countries after COVID in 2021 you like the most? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.